Another of the improvements with the DX2022 is the ability to turn on and off the normal vector filter in the deviation accuracy analyzer. Um, so one of the pieces of functionality here is, uh, you see that I have a solid body here. So if I just turn the mesh on and off, I have a mesh and I've only modeled that bottom solid body, right? And if I go ahead and turn on the deviation from body, um, you'll see that I have the filter off right now, but this is what it would be by default. All right, so what it's doing, what that deviation option is, is we had a normal vector filter, and that was added to the accuracy analyzer. And what it does is it allows you to ignore the normal direction vector of the target measurements, so of the mesh, right? So if you turn it on, it actually uses the filter. And if you turn it off, it does not use the vector filter. So you'll see immediately what happens here is I have a lot of stuff that I haven't modeled yet. So if I turn it on, we're not looking at the normal direction of the uh, scan data itself we're only taking those points and graphing them back to the surface of the cad and what that gets you is this type of feedback so i can see directly that you know in this specific area if i roll my mouse over that it's 0. 0.0013 um, so like one a little under here one thou right there and as I roll over, you can see that it changes in this missing area. And again, if I turn the mesh on, the reason why is look at. <clears throat> so it's just ignoring that normal information. So having that ability allows you to turn that on and off. And in this instance, if this is more valuable to you to look at this, which I tend to like it without the filter on, then you can toggle that on and off. Now, another uh, tool that is very handy in here under the accuracy analyzer is the ability to change which mesh that you compare to. So if I come over and I turn my mesh on and I'm just gonna select all, copy and paste and create a second mesh. Now, if I have both of these on and I have the solid highlighted and I come over to deviation from body, you can say by default, it's gonna have this nearest scan data. It's just gonna select the nearest data. But if you turn that off, you can actually select which mesh, in this instance, they're the same mesh, but you can select which one you wanna compare. So there are instances where you would need to compare the solid body to a specific mesh, right? Um, so we give you this ability now in this latest version where you can compare with a very specific mesh. Or near a scan data, we'll just select whatever one. It's also smart enough that if one of them's off, it'll just use the one that's on as well. So that is the accuracy analyzer enhancements in DX2022.